Hi, Dan Stein here with another installment of my Autodesk Forma series, sponsored by Autodesk, a design and make company. In this video, we're going to take a look at computational fluid dynamics, or CFD-based wind analysis. We'll be able to see how our design solution impacts the project site and the adjacent context, and how it impacts occupant comfort. We'll also look at Forma's proposals where we can make modifications to our design solution and then compare the results side by side, ultimately coming up with the best passive strategy for our project and site. So come on, let's check out some of these features together in Autodesk Forma. Jumping back into our Forma model we've been using in this series, we have the two towers that are native Forma geometry and then Revit and Rhino geometry that's been imported. As soon as we click on the wind analysis tool, Forma does a rapid AI-based wind analysis. First, we're looking at comfort with the scale across the bottom based on different activities. And then we can also look at direction based on dominant wind directions for the site. One thing that's really interesting about this is that the AI-based wind analysis is real-time, meaning that if we move a building, the wind analysis will almost immediately update. Or if we add any geometry, perhaps we're designing an outdoor dining area and we want to see if some sort of opaque wall might affect the wind in a certain area. So as soon as we're done creating the geometry, we can see that the AI-based rapid wind analysis updates. And we can see some additional green area has been added. We're going to try and move this geometry to the other end of this building. You'll notice that there's still a little gap on the left. So when we spin around, there will still be some wind leaking through. So this isn't perfectly accurate, and that's where the more detailed analysis will come in. This actually takes a little bit longer. You can see the blue button in the upper right says it'll take anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes to run. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then of course, through the magic of video editing, we get to skip all that time and jump directly to the results. So once the calculation is done, we can click the See Results button and we're in the comfort mode right now and you see the scale across the bottom describing red being uncomfortable when we click on one of these areas since we're in the comfort mode it'll tell us the category that is comfortable for an occupant uncomfortable standing strolling and then we see the comfort scale we can also click on direction and then this changes to the wind speed in miles per hour. If we turn on the streamlines, you'll notice that where I clicked to the eye to turn on streamlines, it's set to importance. So these are the most dominant wind streams. We'll also see the, in the direction for the wind rows. This is the most prominent wind direction coming from the south across the river 35% of the time. And you can also use the inspect tool to see specific wind speeds in the site context. So this is a great opportunity to understand how your design proposal impacts the project site and the surrounding context. So another thing we might want to do is do a wind analysis based on the existing conditions so we can have a better understanding of how our project impacts the site. Initially, the analysis area might be in the wrong spot, so you can click Custom Circle, like I'm doing here, and place the circle. There's also a slider to make the radius larger if needed. So you can see that hot spot on the west street next to our building isn't there in the existing conditions. We are actually creating that which might be uncomfortable for people biking or walking along that street. So that's something to keep in mind. One thing that's great in Forma is that when you click to have an analysis created, 
since this is all cloud-based, you don't have to wait for that analysis to finish to do something else. So let's duplicate the current proposal and look at how we might rotate the towers just to see if it affects the wind or the daylight hours in a more effective way. This is a great way to study passive strategies and how we might make our projects more comfortable for the occupants occupying the site. And then also the daylight hours would affect electricity and heating and cooling. So we can really get some great passive strategies uh, better understood. We'll notice that by rotating the towers in the real-time AI-based rapid analysis that that hot spot on the west street went away. We'll create one more proposal where we're going to add a line of trees where we had previously added the wall. So Forma has the ability to understand trees properly into wind analysis. They're not a completely opaque object. And, and so the leaf density in Forma is calculated at 0.25 meters or 10 inches. And I'm gonna add a row of trees here using Forma's tree tool. You have to use Forma's vegetation. And then I place those somewhat unusually close together and made them really tall just to exaggerate the results. And then I click to run a detailed analysis and now we'll switch back to the completed detailed analysis for the existing site. And in fact, all three analyses are now complete. Again, thanks to the magic of video editing. And we're going to look at Forma's compare tool where we can compare multiple runs. So in this case, I'm going to compare three wind analysis runs side by side. So the two on the left are the modified tower alignments and one of them has the trees. So you can see the labels in the upper left of each area tells us which proposal we're looking at. And since I'm in comfort mode, which you can see in the upper right, when I use the inspect tool, it's giving me the category and also the dominant wind direction for that location. Another nice thing we can do that might be helpful in this condition is look at the project in 2D when we're comparing the results. But you can see that the, the trees had a positive impact on what might be a nice dining area. And then thinking back to a previous video, we noticed how the sun hours were not optimal on the north side against this existing tall building. So perhaps we'll study that. We'll look at June and December. And now we'll take a little deeper look at the wind results. Notice that you can change the comfort scale. And this is purely an academic analysis of what might be comfortable for a person at different wind speeds in certain areas on a project site. This isn't necessarily related to the math required to do the computational fluid dynamics. Now when we click to the direction tab, we can see the wind. Right now we're looking at the north wind, which occurs 14% of the time that we can see in the wind rows in the upper right. And then we can switch to the south wind, which is the most dominant for this particular site. Again, 35% of the time the wind's coming from the south and it's coming across the river. This is again a project in downtown Austin on the Colorado River. So once we've done a calculation that 30 to 90 minutes, the, the results are saved. We don't have to calculate that each time we want to see the results and we'd only need to do another calculation if something changed on the project. Notice that the streamlines again is set to importance and there is an opportunity to turn on and off the heat map results on the ground and the roof. You can see those on the right. 
and now we'll just take one quick look at the sun hours. One thing to notice is that the direct sun on ground graph that you see on the right is literally what it says. It's only the results on the ground, not the facade of the building. So you likely don't want to focus on that very much. But in this particular case, it doesn't look like our design proposal change benefits sun hours very much but this is part of the iterative process of how we can better understand the project. And we'll go back and compare the sun hours again to what we looked for our original design. So really great opportunity in Forma to look at wind analysis, create proposals, and then look at other analyses as we continue to create proposals and better understand the difference between them. Now we'll close out of the analysis view and back to the primary form of view. So as you can see, there's some really great opportunities here, which really democratize the ability to do CFD based wind analysis on geometry coming from multiple sources and then compare the results side by side by looking at different proposals that Forma allows us to categorize and, and compare next to each other. So keep an eye out for another video coming in the near future in my Autodesk Forma series. Thanks for watching. Bye.